And I'm Penny Daniels, and this is Inside Report. She is one of the most stunning women in the world, a virtual goddess with a shape that can stop traffic. Tula's incredible torso has been seen in countless magazines and even with James Bond in the movies. But England's sight for sore eyes is not quite all she appears. Beneath that beauty lies a shocking secret and a past that is filled with illusion. Tula's story is a dark tale of deception, crushing disappointment, and lost love. Inside Reports, Dan Housley has the incredible story of Tula, Great Britain's mysterious bombshell, who proves that seeing may not always be worth believing. Sexy, sultry, and smoldering. Tantalizing Tula had it all. A body that could stop Big Ben, a husband worth millions, and a career on the fast track. But Tula also had a secret, a secret from her past which would shock the world. Tula, all 37, 25, 37 of her, all six feet of luscious ladyhood, was born a boy. And my family, you know, thought I was slightly effeminate, and my dad and brother hoped I'd grow out of it. Um, I realized there was something different when I had my sexual feelings at 13, um, and they were towards another boy, so... But Barry Cossey wasn't a homosexual. Hormone tests eventually proved he was a girl trapped in a boy's body. I, I had this desire to dress as a girl, and wear makeup and try to look as pretty as possible. And it was a great turn on for me to, to be flattered by a heterosexual male. Even his sister knew the boy the other kids called Sissy Cossy was special. I just shared so much with her, my dolls, the, the dressing up, you know. I mean, it was lovely because she was so soft. And I think she was a lot softer than me in many ways um, and maybe more feminine too because she used to be like my big sister giving me advice, and she always has been, really. But a miserable life of childhood taunts would force Barry away from the family he loved, away from the small British town where he grew up, to London to live as a transvestite, and finally to undergo gender reassignment surgery. 21-year-old Barry, the second son of an English factory worker, soon became Carolyn. I felt com completely complete, you know, I just, I had an inner peace that I could actually look at myself in the mirror and feel my external uh, um, was the same as my internal feeling, so I was very happy at that point. Carolyn's life blossomed. The sex change launched a modeling career and prompted a name change to Tula. And in 1981, Tula became one of the women of Bond. James Bond, that is. Tula appeared with Roger Moore in the film For Your Eyes Only. Soon, Playboy readers would also drool over tempting Tula in a picture spread from the same flick. For seven years, Tula was hot, adored, in demand. But almost overnight, her world would collapse. I had um, the press following me because, you know, once you start getting successful, the press here tends to delve around in your background looking for little skeletons, and they found one. Discovering Tula's well-kept secret tickled the public's fancy, but it also rubbed employers the wrong way. The movie offers and modeling assignments quickly dried up. Tula, the transsexual, fell out of favor, but still she refused to exploit her new image. I have never wanted to make money out of my predicament. It was something I was, you know, I was a little problem that I was born with, and I got over it, and I mean, I'm not a criminal. It was um, the, way, the way God made me, and I felt I've tried to cope with it in the best way I can. The coping was made a lot easier by this man, wealthy businessman Elias Fatal. After a passionate and storybook romance, Tula would receive his proposal of marriage on Valentine's Day. It was when he asked me to marry him that I felt well, he needs to know, um, and it was a very difficult time, and I, I gave him my book to read, and um, he accepted it very well. Uh, and from that point, we sort of got actually closer together. Tula remembers it as the most blissful time of her life, 
a lavish synagogue wedding, a reception at the Swank Savoy Hotel, and a honeymoon in the sun. But when they returned home, the crumpets hit the fan. Well, we took every precaution for the press never not to find out we, we were married, but sadly they did. And we came back off our honeymoon, and the same day that we stepped off the plane, it was front page, and his family discovered my past that particular way, and, and uh, they were shocked. And I feel like they brainwashed him because he's a different. The love of Tula's life turned and ran. Elias and his $16 million fortune went home to mummy. I've been with Elias four years, and so it's a great shock that he's actually able to turn around after a fabulous wedding and a wonderful honeymoon to suddenly say within three days, you know, I want a divorce. I and mean, it's just mind blowing. What do you think about these? Are they worth converting? I think this looks quite interesting. I thought maybe on the back, but yeah, on the back of the card. In the Dave, I think that hand is in a very suspect position now. <laughs> <laughs> to heal the hurt, Tula is picking up the pieces of her shattered life in the modeling world that once embraced her. But still, she's under no illusion that a new portfolio will guarantee the fame she once enjoyed. It's going to be more difficult now. I'm 34 than it was when I was 24, but uh, I'm sure there's still some jobs out there for me and hopefully the man of my dreams, because I thought I'd met him, but sadly I haven't. Mm. Right now, Tula says she is actively fighting for the rights of other transsexuals, like the right to change her birth certificate gender from male to female. That change would allow her to marry legally. After that, watch out, America. Tula is coming to the States looking for fame, fortune, and maybe even a husband.